Hey everyone, it's the uh, first week of 2016 and what better time to do this uh, video on child themes for the 2016 theme, the, the theme that WordPress puts out every year. I'm going to make a child theme for this 2016 theme and if you don't know, that's the best way to make customizations to a theme because if you don't, then when the parent theme is updated, you're going to lose all your customizations. So this is the proper way to create a child theme from an existing theme. And if that, you know, if that's not confusing enough, I don't know what is. Let's just get right into it. So you'll see that I'm logged into my WordPress account right now and I'm under the appearance theme sections. And you'll see that the only themes I have installed here are the default WordPress themes, the 2014, 2015, and 2016. So right now I have the 2016 theme active. And the way that we create a child theme is we need to create a child theme directory and that directory has to include a style.css file and a functions.php file and that's all we need to create a child theme and then you could do all your customizations after that is in place so let's start with the first step what we're going to do is create a folder a directory for the child theme so I'm going to show you right now I'm logged into or I'm, I'm connected to my web server here with FileZilla, which is my favorite FTP program. And you'll see that on the right-hand side here, this is my web server. I'm within the WP content slash themes directory, and that's where all my themes are listed. So what I want to do is create a theme folder for the child theme and upload it to this directory. So let me do that. I'm going to do this on my desktop right now. So I have a folder, an empty folder here, and all I'm going to do is create a new folder. And it, the naming convention that you want to use for the new folder, let me actually copy it from the FTP program. You want to use the name of the parent theme. So since we're using the 2016 theme, I'm quite literally just going to copy and paste the name of this folder. And when I create a new folder here, right on my desktop, I'm going to go right click and click new folder paste in the theme name and then what we want to do is end it with dash and then a child theme name and you can either just do child or you could be more specific so I'm just gonna do something like business usually what I do is if I'm customizing for a specific uh, business or client I'll just put their business name so now we have the directory created within that directory we need to create two more files, as I said before, style.css and functions.php. So I'm just going to right click and do a new text document and I'm just going to change the file extension name. So I'll do style.css and it's going to give me a little message here and I'm sure I want to do it. And we're going to do the same thing with functions.php. Okay. And now that we have them created, let me actually show you. I'm going to copy and paste in code here from the WordPress website where they go through this process of how to create a child theme. So let me open that up. And the, um, the URL is codex.wordpress.org slash child underscore themes. And this goes through the process here of what I'm showing you. It's just in written form, but we're going to copy and paste the code that they give you. So right here is the code for the style.css file, as they indicate. So I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go into my uh, newly created file here. I like to edit these files with Notepad++. It's just a really simple file editor that works with a lot of different types of files. So I'm going to just paste this in. And you'll see Notepad++ automatically styles this. This is a comment. And anything that's encapsulated by this uh, slash asterisk and then ended with the asterisk slash is a comment. And that gets colored in green in Notepad++. So what we want to do is we actually want to change a few of these uh, fields here. You can see I copy and pasted the 2015 child. I'm doing a 2016. So I'm just going to replace any examples of that. I'm going to update this one, my URL. 
and let me go through here just update these 2016 and this is the most important line here the template line because this is what indicates the parent theme so you need this name to be the same as the directory of the parent theme so again instead of typing it out I'm quite simply just gonna copy and paste 2016 because that is the parent theme of our child theme so let me paste that in and let me see if there's any other references here to 15 I think there's maybe one more yeah right here so we'll do 2016 child text domain and I'm gonna update the URL with my website which is website profit course dot com and I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that and paste that <laughs> to the author URI as well and these are all the updates we have to make like I said I can update the author name as well I'm gonna update this with my name Ray Del Vecchio and I'm just doing this um, to show you how they get how they are shown on the WordPress admin area but as I said before this line is really the most important line the template line because that is what's going to indicate where the parent style.css is inherited from so let me save this file and let me move on to the next file which is the functions.php and I'm going to go back to this uh, codex.wordpress.org website page because they give you the exact code that you need to copy and paste for that and this one we don't even need to update we could just copy paste and use it as is so all I'm gonna do is save this file and that's it we have our child theme done I just need to upload this entire directory to my web server so let me do that I'm gonna refresh and you'll see we have the new directory here 2016 dash business and it's important that you don't want any spaces in this directory name because that might throw you an error so make sure there's no spaces in in the directory name whatever you choose to name it and just to show you again we have functions.php style.css we're gonna upload this entire directory to our web server and there it is it sits right alongside the 2014, 15, and 16 themes. So the next step now is activate it. We have to activate our theme within WordPress. So let me go back to the WordPress admin dashboard. And I'm, gonna, I'm actually in the appearance theme section here. I'm going to refresh. Our new theme should show up. And here it is. You see, we don't have a screenshot of the theme, which I'll show you how to do that but right now I just want to activate it so let's activate that theme and there you go our new theme is activated let me uh, visit the website here and you'll see we have a blank theme this is the 2016 theme and it's actually running the child theme so the way we could test this is to do one line of CSS what I'm going to do is I want to change the body color which right now you'll see it's black that's what is accounting for this border here I'm going to change that to a dark red color so let me go back to my WordPress admin area now that we have the new theme activated if we go to the appearance editor section it's going to automatically show us the style.css of the active theme which is our child theme so I'm going to add one line in here we're going to target the body and we put the curly brackets in there that's our CSS statement and we're going to do background colon and then you do hashtag BB 0000 and then a semicolon and that BB 0000 is a hex code for a dark red color so if all goes well we're going to save this file and refresh the page and we should have a red border instead of a black border around here and there we go so we just tested out our new child theme style.css and it seems to be working properly so now you can go ahead if you know CSS you can make all the customizations you want to this child theme and the design won't be affected when the parent theme is updated so let me just show you really really quickly as I said I wanted to show you the screenshot aspect of this um, theme section here in every theme directory you can also upload a file which is simply screenshot.png so let me go back to the FTP here and what I'm gonna do 
is the left hand side here this is my computer desktop I'm gonna go into this 2016 business child theme and on the web server side I'm gonna go into the parent theme which is 2016 and you'll see in addition to all the PHP files which make up this parent theme that we inherit from there's also a PNG screenshot image file so I'm just gonna drag and drop that onto my computer desktop within this 2016 business child theme folder and on the web server I'm gonna navigate back to that folder and upload that PNG file and you'll see once we do this obviously I, I'm gonna need to create a new screenshot with the new design that we end up um, customizing to but you'll see once we do this if I refresh the theme section here I should see the exact same icon that's used for the 2016 theme here so let me do that I'll refresh it and it shouldn't be blank and there you go it just loads in the new thumbnail so that that's all there is to creating a new child theme and like I said you could do the customizations you want after the fact based on your website design if you like this video and if you found it helpful be sure to like comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel I do more videos on WordPress, web design, and working for clients, specifically managing the websites and online marketing of local small business clients. You can visit my website at the link below. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Hopefully your 2016 is prosperous and healthy.